Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a stopwatch using TK Enter. First, let's take a look at the stopwatch. Here we have the stopwatch time. We have our start button, pause, reset, and quit. Let's click start. And the stopwatch starts. Now let's pause the time. And then we can click start to restart. And we can reset the stopwatch. And to close or quit, we can click quit. Let's go over the code. The first thing we did is to import TK Enter using import TK Enter as TK. Next, let's go over how we created the label and the buttons for the stopwatch. To create the main window, we use tk.tk and we assign that to the variable root. Then we use geometry to size the window. And to give the window a title, we use root.title. To create the label for the time, we use tk.label. We put in our time, the font type, and the font size. Then we use pack to pack that label into the window. Using this code, we have created the start, pause, reset, and quit buttons. To create the button, we use tk.button. We put in the text, the height, the width, the font type, and the font size. And then here, for the command, we assign the function that will be called when we click the button. And for each button, we use pack to pack them into the window. And to run the app, we use root.mainloop. For our variables, we start out and create a Boolean variable, and this is going to help control the state of the time, where it will be running or not running. And to start, we assign false. Then we create variables for our hours, minutes, and seconds, initially set to zero. A quick note on global. We will use global to modify variables outside functions. Or, if you do not want to use global, another option would be to use a class and subclass frame. For the start function, which is the function that will be activated when we click the start button, that we assigned to this button, using the Boolean global variable running, if the time is not running, we are going to use our update function. We will press the button, and then the time will be running, so we assign true to running. And we'll go over the update function here in just a minute. For the pause function, which will be called when we press the pause button, once again we use our running variable. If the time is running, we're going to use our stopwatch label for the time. Then we're going to use after cancel, and we're going to use a variable called update time, which we created here. And this variable will update the time label after 1000 milliseconds, or one second. So, to cancel or pause the updating of the time, we use after cancel. And now, the time is not running, so we assign false to running. The reset function here will be called when we press the reset button that we assigned here. If the time is running, we're going to cancel the updating of the time using after cancel. Once again, putting in the update time variable that we created here to update the time. And since the time is not running, we assign false to running. 
Then we set our variables back to zero, and we set our label back to zero. And here we have our update function, which will update the stopwatch label with the time using hours, minutes, and seconds. To update the seconds, we're going to use the addition compound assignment operator. When we reach 60 seconds, it's going to add 1 to the minutes. When we reach 60 minutes, it's going to add 1 to the hours. Using this code, we format the time label to add the leading zeros. Here. To change or update the label, we use the label.config. And we want the label to update after 1000 milliseconds. So we use the label dot after. We put in 1000 milliseconds. And then we put in the update function. So after each second, this will call the update function. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.